Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to be testing out a technique where you can charge one phone from another phone or tablet. Now all you need for this is two cables. The original charging cable that you got with your phone or tablet and an on-the-go cable. That's an OTG cable. So that's a little micro USB to a female USB. You can also get ones for Apple which would be for example the lightning connector to a female USB. Now these are not a lot of money, these particular Android ones are only about two or three UK pounds, so very cheap indeed from places like eBay and Amazon. Now it's not gonna work as well as plugging it into a proper electrical supply with the proper charger, but the scenario would be that, for example, you might have gone away camping or hiking somewhere, and your tablet might be full of charge, but then your iPhone or your Android phone might be completely dead or you might only have one or two percent and you might need to make a phone call. So it's going to be more like a trickle charge so it is going to charge up very slowly but that's what I'm going to do in this video now. I'm going to do a before and after and I'm going to give it five minutes. So I'm going to plug the Android phone into the tablet and I'm going to put the timer on for five minutes. I'm going to write down the percentage before and then the percentage after of battery and then I'm going to do the same for this little iPod here. This is a sixth generation iPod and then we're gonna see how much it's increased over five minutes. Now, I know that if you were to plug this into the proper charger, it's gonna increase a lot more over five minutes, but it's just interesting to see whether it will even go up maybe one or 2% in that time. Right, okay, so we've got our tablet here. And in our tablet, we've got quite a bit of battery life. You can see there, it's about maybe three quarters full. So I'm going to be doing the charging from this onto the other devices. Now, this is only going to work if your device supports on the go. So for example, this one here does support on the go. This phone here supports on the go. This iPod doesn't support on the go. So the device that's got the full battery on needs to be the one that supports the OTG. If it doesn't, then you're not going to be able to charge anything from it. As long as it supports OTG, then you will be able to charge absolutely anything USB related from that tablet. So here we go, let's plug in the OTG cable. Now you might be wondering, like, why would you have this cable with you? But if you know you're going away for the weekend, then if you're bringing your devices with you and you're bringing some chargers and stuff with you, it's not really going to take up much room just to bring in another 10 centimeter lead. That weighs absolutely nothing. So first of all, let's do this phone here. Right, okay, you can see that the battery's in the red, but what I'm actually gonna do is, and battery saver's on as well, I'm just gonna go to an app called Ampere, and this is gonna tell me what it's doing at the moment. So at the moment, it's actually discharging. You can see there, status discharging. It's working from the battery. And now what I'm gonna do, you can see there, the level is 15%. So I'm gonna write down 15% here. A little chart here so I'm going to do Android here 15% and after five minutes we're going to see what it goes up to and then we'll do the same on the other phone as well so that's 15% right so what I'm going to do because I want to get as much charge in this as possible over the five minutes I'm going to put it into flight mode and that's going to turn off the Wi-Fi and the cellular network so that they're not going to be draining the battery so I'm going to pop it into flight mode and now that's going to turn off the Wi-Fi and the cellular network. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you it charging up to begin with, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap the off button just to turn the screen off, just to leave it in standby, and then I'll set the timer as well. Right, so I've plugged my charging cable into the USB on the go cable. I'm just gonna get my timer ready on this phone here, and I'm gonna plug the cable in there. And if you have a look now, you can see the charge lights come on. Okay, right, just gonna tap that off there now, and I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Right, okay, so there we go, it's gone up to 16%, and you can see it's still saying charging. So in five minutes, we've got 1%, which isn't exactly a huge amount. But if you were to leave it there for, for example, 20 or 30 minutes, then there's a chance then that you would be able to use your phone to be able to make the phone call. And see, that's the problem. It's only charging right now 
you see right now it's at 160 milliamps so it's between 160 and 400 milliamps is what it's been charging at so it's not a huge amount and you see if I was to unplug that you can see now in a few seconds it will go to discharging let's just get a measurement right okay so it's discharging at the moment at about 240 milliamps 260 milliamps 290 yeah and then when we plug it in see what it's measuring now right 290 so you can see by just having the screen on there it's kind of using up all the power that's getting put into it you know if you left that for half an hour and then left it plugged in you should be able to make a phone call out of that right let's do the same experiment again and this time we're going to do it with the iPod just to see if the iPod charges any quicker Right, now we're going to be doing the iPod. Now I've had to use a different app for this because I couldn't get the Ampere one, so I've used Battery Doctor. But if you have a look, my battery symbol is in the red. So let's go to Battery Doctor. And as you can see, it's 13%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi by putting it into flight mode again. So it's a fair test. Right, so that's in flight mode now. As you can see up there. Wi-Fi and everything's off, I've just got the aeroplane. Right, we're at 13%, so I've written down 13% over here. And now let's start the timer and plug it in. Right, somehow it's just jumped to 17%. So I don't know how accurate this battery doctor is. But let's give it a go anyway and see. You can see it is definitely charging up there because I've got the little lightning symbol next to the battery. And let's just turn off the screen. And we'll leave that for five minutes. I'll fast forward through it and see what the percentage is. Okay, that's five minutes up. And I can definitely see that it's gone to green up here. And if you have a look, 31%. Wow, so that really is pretty impressive that it's gone all the way up to there. And you can even see if you look at the symbol here that, you know, we were on red before. Now we've gone to green. Let me just unplug that. And let's just see if it drops down. Because as soon as I plugged it in, it did go from 13 to, I think, was it 16 or 17? So let me see if it jumps again as soon as I plug it in. No. So obviously it really depends on the phone. I presume this little iPod here... I mean, I haven't looked at the specs of the batteries, but obviously the spec on this battery, the, it must be a lot smaller in relation to this Android phone over here because this only went up 1%, yet this has gone up a... Uh, 17, that's gone up 18%. Okay, so if we have a look at it there, the Android just went up the 1%, but according to this, the iPod went up from 13% to 31%, which is 18%. Now, obviously, when you're doing this, you are going to be eating into the battery off the device that you're doing it. So remember before, the battery was quite full, and now I think it was about three quarters full, and now it looks to be halfway. So all you're doing is transferring the energy from one battery to another battery. But that's the whole idea. It just is an emergency to get you out of trouble. So it's a handy little thing to know because it gives you less chance of getting caught out. So let's say now if you had to rush out of the house and you were going, you know, going out with your friends or your partner or whatever and you knew that you only had one or two or three percent on your phone and you, you had to leave your house and there was no time to charge it up, then what you can do is you can just bring the cable with you and then when you're walking to your destination you can just plug one phone into the other phone and then let it charge up while you're getting there and hopefully then by the time you get there it might have gone up a few percent. So I hope you liked the video, give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.